Sensei. I'm back. So uh, let's get continue the story. Episode seven. Oh no, I can't see anything. Ow, who stepped on my foot? Shh, Momoi, keep it down. Hmm, watch your step, it's slippery here. The slippery thing is in my hair. Ah, it's my hair. <laughs> your hair is pretty long, after all. Is there still never ending? The dark has made our progress slow, but we've been going down for a while. Ow! I hit my head on the wall this time! A wall? That means we hit a dead end. Everyone, please hold for just a moment. I think there's a door, right here. What's being auctioned next? Bring it out! We came here for a show, bring out something worth my money. Even if I don't win the bid, I would love to see it with my own eyes. That's right, the one and only, the Clock King's crown. Okay, so Toki was right about that crown something. What? I thought the auction was tomorrow. What are they auctioning all the way down here? Probably illegal stuff. Now, now, please be patient. We still have many other rare merchandise to show you. The night is young and there are plenty of items. The Clock King's crown will be the highlight of the auction. We don't care about the highlight, just show us. They're right, Meitaro. Your dragon is out way too long. Are you not going to address the sightings to the Phantom Teeth? Can we even continue in this environment? You're not the only one getting nervous about that teeth, Meitaro. Haha. <laughs> Please, you are shouting over a non-issue. I have brought not only CNC but Charlie for our complete protection. I have set them on the task of defend defeating the Phantom Teeth, distracting both parties long enough for us to finish the real auction. If they actually succeed, then that's fantastic news for us. If they go down together, I have no complaints. In the worst case scenario, if the Phantom Teeth somehow comes out triumphant against Charlie and CNC, it will not be unscathed. My own security detail will take over from there. Well thought out by Meitaro. As always, I'm sure we'll be safe. Alright, bring out the next item. Let's get through this with haste. Then we can at least see the Clock King's crown, yes? Thank you all. Our next item up for bid is none other than the Golden Cannery. A one of a kind yellow diamond extracted from a meteorite polish to become this gem. It was once the center of countless conflicts within black market after disappearing for over time i'm happy to say i've procured it for this auction you mean smuggled that's metaro he seemed to have banished but there he is and every item in this auction seems to be incredibly special or rare in rpgs auctions are usually where rare artifacts are sold or suspicious schemes unfold ah we must need credits to join this auction to earn credits we have to complete Special quests or defeat monsters. Sensei, are those people are rare monsters that will drop lots of credits? We're not sure yet, but let's say no for now to be safe. Something seems noisy and not in the way I like at an auction. <laughs> huh? CNC, what are you doing down here? Oh, what are you down here? You should be facing the Phantom Thief. CNC is here? What's going on, Meitaro? Did you fool us? Is this a trap? The Clock King's crown was here after all. It is a stolen item that CNC has been searching for. That's not all. Kronos holding his son, the Gleaning Ishtar, the Statue of Venus, there are just too many to name. Are these all references to something? I'm sorry, I really don't uh, understand it. What's wrong with them, Toki? Every single item upward bid today is an illegal piece being traded past around in the underworld. The Phantom Tip is still is after these illegal items? These are no ordinary artworks still. Remember when I told you I had one additional mission besides tracking down the Phantom Tip? 
My mission was to find these stolen pieces, including the Clock King's crown. Naturally, I assume both missions ended with apprehending the Phantom Thief. The stolen artworks appearing in a basement under the mansion was an unexpected twist. He did not inform me since he was also looking for stolen artworks. He did not ask. <laughs> Very like Toki. Okay, I'm gonna pull for you, my baby girl. Guards, take care of the CNC and arrest them gently. Lul, what do you think are you gonna do to Toki? Huh? If only I had Toki right now. あ、とてのさあ、次々。<笑><笑> Well, the most damage, Mumoi. Ah, no! You put up an admirable fight, but we were stronger. Now, I have several questions for you, Meitaro. Why and how have the, all these stolen artworks found their way to this basement? Um, I really didn't want to have to resort to this. Hmm? But a barge, Shan Haijing's Genrumon guards in my security detail. Shan Haijing, Genrumon, you are scrupulous in some sense. You're going to do everything at any cost, aren't you? Research, prepare to fight. What's Genrumon gonna do against in Stoki? Besides, what can you do against Ares? Those guys just. Transform into Genruman guards? What do we do since they were outnumbered? If I had my powered suit here. Let's go! Akira! What's happening? I can't see. This way, follow me. I recognize that, boys! I followed the voice through the blinding thick smoke and just barely escaped the mansion. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Oh, I can't take another step. What an evening we've had. Although night would be more accurate at this point. How is this night? It's daytime! Is anyone hurt? Are you okay, Sensei? Great work, everyone, including you. I think we have a guest, though. Who are you talking about, Sensei? Of course. Coincidence, whimsy, serendipity, unpredictability. All concepts lending to the greater pursuit of art. Who's there? You know who. Akira! Stop it! Get some help. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> Desai! I hope I find you well. Who could have predicted our next meeting to be under such exciting circumstances? Sensei, what the heck is going on? Momoi, I know it's confusing, but there's an explosion. Momoi, we only got out thanks to the bell uh, phantom thief. Sensei's right, I had a feeling, but that smoke had to have been. Nothing's here, no one's here. <laughs> Snake! I'm confused by and appreciative of your help. Thank you, but why did you help us? 
I understand. Please allow me to explain and hopefully clear any misunderstandings here. Through certain means, I came to understand that you're all being fooled by Meitaro. The phantom tip gave me a quick meaningful glance as she spoke. I thought of the hush, hush conversation we had through her communication device when the lights went out. Upon confirming that neither CNC nor Yu Sensei were my enemies, I made my move. That's why I pushed you to solve the real Sensei so you could discover the underground auction hall and who our true enemy was. Bingo! Yahtzee! And to help our CNC bunny find her way to the treasure. Information overload. This is way too much for me to process. So, are you saying we don't have to fight? Did you think I wouldn't see you through your petty tricks, Phantom T? Why, whatever do you mean? Sometimes the enemy of your enemy can become an ally, but not always, not now. Can I ask if you're the Phantom Thief, you're really one of the seven prisoners, right? That means... <laughs> What were you trying to say? That you can't speak to a dangerous criminal like a seven prisoner? You won't associate with a petty thief? Uh, the facts are that you are one with seven prisoners and that yours and CNC's end goals are the same, the clock king's crown. So no, we cannot so carelessly trust a criminal. Just marry me out for one second everyone. Hey stop! I have a suggestion. Yes, CNC? Oh, wise words from the one and only Chalice Sensei? I'd like for us to form an alliance. Joint Operation! When an operation has been compromised, it can be prudent to form potentially advantageous alliances against a common enemy. But that does not apply when the alliance is with one of the seven prisoners. We cannot work with criminals. <laughs> I find the suggestion an excellent one. Wise words indeed. I suppose those with such narrow-minded worldviews couldn't understand. Oi! 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 <laughs> Sensei, I am commencing the elimination of a dangerous criminal. Don't! Don't hurt Akira. She's um... She's cute. No elimination, let's just calm down and talk. Why don't we start with some introductions? Fine, only for you, Sensei. We're actually the game development department from Millennium Science School. That Meitaro person thought I was a CNC member for some reason and before we knew it, we were protecting the mansion from you. He told us that a sneaky thief sent a calling card about stealing his art, some painting about a knighting ceremony. And then somehow the walls started opening in the was this hidden stairwell and then we found the auction but it was a day early and then Meitaro was like grrr cnc and attack us how did we even hand up here i suspected as much but you truly had no idea what you've gotten yourself into what about it what about eh? what about it how were we supposed to know it's not our fault although you did solve my calling card even handicapped with your cluelessness bravo yeah? Well, obviously, we at the game development department have trained endlessly day in and day out playing puzzle adventure games for this very moment. How wonderful. Well, I've shown my cards. The underground auction hall was my target from the beginning. It was built specifically for the heinous activities you all observed, selling and auctioning of stolen artwork. And overseeing it all is this mansion's owner, Meitaro. I'll have to confirm your intel. But regardless, the facts are clear. All the stolen artworks that CNC has been tracking are in this auction's inventory. What the heck was the artwork exhibition for then? The revelries upstairs hide the darker truths underneath. I came to this unfortunate basement, uh, basement in search of the Clock King's Crown. The Clock King's Crown is coveted because it is truly one of a kind. There's no uh, excuse me. There's no kind. Oh, there's no other in all Kibaros. Art is beautiful. Secluding art, hoarding art, assigning such trifling value to art, they debase my principles of beauty. Now then, any questions? 
Meitaro has been manipulating your every move from behind the scenes. He is dastardly and conniving. It's beyond the imagination of folks like you. My head hurts, but hold right there. I know better than to trust a villain story just like that. <laughs> Perfectly understandable. But humor me for a moment, please. Would you really the one who attacked you or the one who saved you? I've been wanting to thank you for saving me, Dori. I've been wondering why you saved me, Dori. Yes, I did it for my ideals, of course. It would be a violation of my standards of beauty if I allowed innocent blood to spill before something of true value. Standard of beauty. <laughs> Back to Shalice Sensei, the wondrous idea. I'd like to close the deal. Will you shake my hand? How are you faring, Sensei? I have no complaints. What about you, Toki? I have nothing to report. Rather than a report, is something bothering you? Try as I might, you're always so quick to read me. I'll be honest, Sensei, I'm not sure what to do here. You don't know? We're ten times more confused over here. Understood, noisy moy. <laughs> That's actually a very cute nickname for moy. Noisy moy, is that my nickname? It's not just you, I have nicknames for everyone here. Midori, the proof resident. Yuzu the timid and Aris the adorable. Oh, They all have cool titles, why is mine a dumb name? Sensei, come on, this is basically bullying. They're supposed to stop this kind of stuff. <laughs> As Mumuni said, bullying is bad. But Mumuni wasn't wrong, Sensei. What do we do? It's very easy. We defeat the bad guys and become a party of hero maids. I'm not even sure who the bad guys are. Hmm, that is easy as well. The bad guys are... The bad guys... Oh! Suddenly, everything is spinning! I'm painting! Yuzu! Taskete! If you don't mind, I have an idea. Please remove yourself from this case. Game Devs Department and Sensei. Why would you want that, Toki? Toki! Toki! Are you planning something dangerous? Are you not? I admit I was taken off guard at the proposal of an alliance. There's no need. I will fulfill my duty and see this case to its end. But by yourself? Yes, I was assigned this mission by CNC and so I will complete it as CNC. I will not mar the organization's reputation. How do you plan on accomplishing this alone, Toki? I'll have to let the situation play out a little. If the situation calls for it, I'll support the Phantom Thief's plan to stop the auction. Otherwise, I'll simply retrieve the Clock King's crown before the Phantom Thief and return it to Valkyrie. This case never had anything to do with the game dev's department, or you, Sensei. So follow Sensei back to Millennium. This is where we say goodbye. No, it's not! No, it's not! No, it's not! No, it's not! No, do not falter, party members! Aris, you don't understand. Yes, I do. Toki joined our party. Pan Pakaban! Come on now, Toki! You can't. You really can't. Uh, what do you call this? You can't refuse Aris. The wall people. You are our party member, and the game devs department does not leave a fellow member behind. I know the situation hasn't been ideal, and that you wouldn't even be here if it weren't for Momoi. Midori, you need to learn to put things in the past. Ignore her! We're not going to leave you to do this alone, Toki. After all, we're your fellow CNC members. You took out a little loan on the name, remember? Is, is that simple for you? I was thought that the simplest reasons are actually the are usually the important ones. Indeed! That is actually true. Or are we wrong? 
and the reason you wish to leave is because you do not consider us party members. Oh no! <laughs> Toki is gonna. Toki heart is gonna get um. Uh, what is? Is gonna. Ah, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh well. Moving on. No, it's only that I don't know what that means. I've always done things alone. I don't know how to handle situations I haven't encountered. At least not off the field. If that is how you feel, then I would like to help Toki. Even if uh, Aries will not join our party. If that's what Aries wants, let's do this. We'll follow your lead, Aries. <laughs> that grand finale was a true depiction of beauty. Meitaro didn't get to where he was being, being a fool. He's already regained control of the secret auction and has restarted the bidding. His guards are hunting us down as we speak. If my guess is correct, the Clock King's run will be up for bid around midnight. Once Meitaro realized we're not intent on destroying each other, he pivoted to plan B, take us out before the stroke of 12. That's a very nice rundown. Well, you were the one who suggested we join an alliance, Sensei. There are two questions that have been bothering me. As a way, although I can't give away all my secrets just yet. My first question is about the last priest of the calling card. The sad sword of opulence never awarded to another. We thought you were talking about the sword in that ninth fainting. The one, that one was Charles play. The sword in the crown are both symbols of authority. I had intended for the little focus on clocks to be a hint. But we didn't even know this clock king's crown thing existed. The crux of the problem. It was impossible for you to decode the calling card because you were working with the flawed premise. Because Meitaro has been lying to you since your first exchange. This entire mission was an elaborate scheme for the, from the start. <laughs> Surprise! And now, Meitaro will learn that fate does not always spin in his favor. This world is not a playground for his swings and fancies. Was my answer satisfactory? Yes. My second question is, why all this? You are becoming predictable, Sensei. My reasons are simple as well. I do it for everyone. Everyone? Like you steal things for other people's benefit? Precisely. My standards of beauty dictate that the greater the value, the more it must be enjoyed by all. Art is not the privilege of the elite squared away in their collections that never see the light of day. It is everyone's right to appreciate beauty. If we allow Meitaru's dastardly plans to unfold, the Clock King's crown will eventually circulate back into the black market, and that must not be allowed to happen. Sell this artwork to a wealthy buyer with questionable buyer, -er, and any back alley talk would be set for life. It would be pandemonium. I aim to reprieve it before that unfortunate outcome can conclude fast, and then will you surrender it to Bakery after that? You honestly expect me to trust those fools, those neophytes, who are meant to keep me captive? Do I seem imprisoned in any cap capacity? I will hold on to it until the world can finally realize the true beauty of such artworks. You're just keeping it in the end. Yes, and your surprise is amusing. Did you forget you were dealing with a big scary tea? Will you tuck your tail and hop away now? I accept your proposal, Sensei. Oh? I intend on completing my mission. I've been tasked with retrieving the stolen goods, so I will retrieve them. If a temporary partnership helps me to achieve that, I will shake her hand. And we are... Team Toki! We are... A party! <laughs> you all. <laughs> You've demonstrated the golden standard of beauty. Excellent. Now then, shall we formulate our plan of attack, partners? So cute. Uh, gonna take a, a short break again. <laughs>